Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I feel like there's a person here who has found out some kind of truth and they're breaking up with um, possibly a karmic, whatever, whoever they chose over you. Yeah, they're being a straight shooter. This is somebody who's giving somebody the truth, okay? This is somebody who kind of can't take it anymore. I'm kind of feeling like um, this is like shaking up a soda and having it explode. Like they're, they just can't handle it. There's a split, okay? And they're being divinely led to do this. They're being led towards you, okay? Knight of Cups energy. You could be dealing with um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be eating a lot of sweets this week. <laughs> you could be eating a lot of ice cream, donuts. Um, yeah, this is a mess. Okay, so, ooh. Yeah, something's been exposed, okay? I feel like um, the karmic has had, an, they, the karmic has another option. Uh, they've had a lot of people that they've been sleeping with, okay? And usually, I feel like this is a karmic who likes them young. They go after younger, like, player energy, okay? Um, yeah, they may even use other people. But they've been put in a, in a bad situation, this masculine. There may even be an STD. Yeah. I feel like somebody's been with so many people, there's now some kind of STD, okay? Or they could have gotten some kind of STD. It's just a mess. But I feel like um, this feminine, she has, she has someone new. She slept around and she found somebody that she wants to have, like, start a relationship with. Yeah. And that's like Queen of Wands energy right there. Um, so, yeah, she's been with someone else, and this person is finding out about it. You may already know. I feel like, you know what? Um, Spirit was leading this person to try to do the right thing for you, okay? they were try The Spirit was trying to get this person to make a different choice, and they didn't. They stayed with the karmic. I feel like now they may have contracted an STD. You predicted all of this, and now I feel like your person is kind of shook, right? That's shaking this up, right? They're shook because you were right about everything. Yes, they have in fact been put in a third party situation, and it is a mess, okay? Because this masculine really, they now they're they're aware that this karmic is a cheater, she goes after whatever she sees that's um, shiny, okay? She's, she's very easily tempted. And she, she really was only in it for passion, lust. Whoever they chose over you, I feel like they, um, it was more like a sexual relationship. And she's found other people. She's been with other people. They realize that now. It is a mess. And this person, I feel like they feel disgusted. Like this is disgusting to them because they think about all of the people that she's been with. Like they don't even know how many. I feel like this person, this masculine, has told this um, karmic individual that they want names of people that, they, that she's been with. And she doesn't even know. That's, that's how many people she's been with. All of the, this is the many named and the, all of these strawberries, right? She's been with a lot of people. So now your masculine knows. They, they know what kind of person they were with. You could be eating a salad for lunch today. You could be um, having a BLT for lunch today. Maybe ramen. All right, so... Yep, they're leaving that situation behind, okay? You're, uh, you could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Your energy really, this is the only card for your energy, is, is uh, the High Priestess. 
So you you knew that this was going to happen. You could have said something to this person. Um, and I feel like that's what they're taking with them. All the things that you said was going to happen, they've happened. You were absolutely spot on correct. I feel like it kind of blows this person away. It makes them very emotional as well. Yeah, but they're they're making a decision to cut out this karmic for um, the Empress and the Minor Arcana. Okay, you could be a Virgo. You could be eating greens for lunch today. You could be from the South. But yes, I feel like um, you're very abundant, very stable. Uh, you've either got a really good paying job or you've created something that's very successful and abundant. Okay, you continue to grow. You've transformed your life. You're the, you were um, the hidden jewel, okay, in the deck. That's what you were. And this person realizes it. You could even be doing like um, a, some, some kind of side job or something using your intuition because of that high priestess energy. You've got a lot of spiritual knowledge. All right, what else can you show me? Yeah, see... It's almost like this person now realizes everything. They've put all the pieces together. They've realized this karmic has been cheating with a lot of people. They're realizing you're the, um, the empress here, the divine feminine energy, okay? And now they're seeing, they're, they've put everything together. And they're seeing that you're the one that they should be with. You're, um, you're the real divine feminine here. They should have been with you this whole time. But now the fire is out. I feel like um, you're tired of this. The passion is gone. That light is gone, right? They want to kind of try to come in and reignite that. Yes, that's the truth. Okay, your person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is definitely your past person wanting to come back around. Okay. Yep, knowing the truth, knowing that you're the one for them, you're the hidden jewel in the deck, okay? They've put it all together. So now this person knows the whole truth about the situation, okay? Knight of Mains. So this person is about ready to come forward and make you some kind of real true offer, okay? Um, but they're coming in way too slow. This is somebody who's taken way too much time coming in. That's the slowest moving night in the deck. I feel like they're very nervous, very guarded, um, because they know that they, they did you dirty, and now they have to try to make it right after all of this time. Yep, and you're not, they can't use passion. Oh, no, uh-uh. They've got to keep passion and flirting, and uh, it, it, this is going to be a serious talk. They can't be coming in flirtatious. They can't be coming in um, wanting to use you, wanting to sleep with you. They can't use, they can't do that. They've got to be honest, okay? And they've got to be real with you. Yep, and they have to tell you how they feel as well. Otherwise, it's going to be over. You're going to fold on that. You could be eating tacos for lunch, maybe spaghetti. Somebody's having some leftover spaghetti for lunch. <laughs> um, yeah, you could be a Scorpio. You could be a Virgo. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer. Yeah, I feel like this person, I feel like they want you. This is, to me, it's like the yin and yang. I'm, I'm getting the sense that this is uh, a twin flame soulmate connection. Yep, they're coming in very emotional, coming in fast, wanting to give you this offer. Your person could be a Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
Yeah, that wheel is turning. This person wants, they want a new beginning in love with you. They want to start this over. Okay, the thing is, though, I feel like it's too late for them. I feel like the universe um, has is closing out a cycle. A new one is beginning. You don't feel the same way that you used to anymore. After all of this time and everything this person puts you through collective, you're, you've turned cold to them, okay? That fire is gone. The warmth is gone. I feel like you've just turned cold. You've been betrayed um, too much and it's taken too long for them to fix it. And I feel like you know your value. You know what you're worth and this person is not giving you what you're worth, okay? They've been with other people or you don't know who they've been with. They want to come back in for the second chance in love collective. And I'm telling you, I feel like the door is shut on them. I got to say, we've got the queen of, of pentacles now to the king of pentacles or the knight of pentacles. Sorry. <laughs> um, you're wifey material for them. Uh, this person sees, uh, sees you as being someone that they want to commit to now. But here's the thing, they, they were running around behind the scenes, chose someone else over you. Okay, now they're coming back in, but you're worthy of a commitment. You're worthy of someone who's going to be loyal and dedicated to you right off the bat. Okay, I feel like you don't trust this person anymore. You, you may see this person as a, like a major player, okay? You could be having a turkey sandwich for lunch, cornbread. Mmm, that sounds good, you guys. Yeah. I feel like you have someone new coming in, okay? Um, you've got a new soulmate connection. You're going to go from, from a single scoop to a double scoop, okay? Um, so, yeah, and they're coming in fast. I always see this as a racetrack. So you've got a new soulmate connection coming in for you who is just going to be loyal and dedicated to just you, okay? With the turning of this wheel, yeah, because this here is the wheel of fortune. And your person's going to be crying over this one. They're going to be in a whole lot of regret. I feel like you're going to, you're going to, um, I, you know, I feel like you're going to hear them out because they are coming forward with an apology and an offer. You're going to hear them out. I think you're going to be very peaceful and calm with them. You know, high priestess energy. You don't want to fight. You know, I feel like you're forgiving this person, but you're telling them that you're going to be holding out for the right person for you. Somebody who is going to be dedicated and loyal with you. Okay. Um, yeah, so I feel like you're going to reject this person, and I feel like you've already made your decision. You've already made your decision. And then you're going to be telling them, basically, I feel like you're going to be saying good luck on your path. I hope you get on your path. You know, I feel like a collective, your path is already lit. And they can't come towards you. I'm seeing you blocking them from coming on your path with you, okay? And your, you, your decision is firm on this one. You're holding out for the right person for you, somebody who's going to um, prove that they're worthy and be loyal and dedicated. You want, you want somebody who's going to be like your best friend and your lover, okay? Um a good match for you and this person I feel like they're they weren't a good match for you at least in the beginning because this person didn't even recognize your value they didn't know who you were they turned you away you know and I feel like now they're coming back in just now because they're realizing they were cheated on you know, if they would think about this, if this queen of wands that they chose over you, if she hadn't cheated on them, do you think they'd be running back in this quickly? 
you know, I feel like, yeah, it's all about divine timing and everything, but, you know, it's almost as if you're the rebound here. And I don't like that energy for you, okay? You're going to feel it too. You're going to be like, why are you rebounding to me? You know, and you're going to think this person is a hot mess. I feel like you're going to tell them they need to heal from some things. Okay, they need to heal. But yeah, I see you actually turning them away, accepting their apology, but turning them away. Okay, but at least they're coming in to make things right. You're about to get that communication. You're about to get the answers to your questions, you know, um, but you've already got, you've already made your decision. You've got your mind made up that you deserve somebody who's going to be loyal and dedicated to you because that's what you bring to a relationship is loyal and de loyalty and dedication. So you, you just want that energy reciprocated. And this person didn't do that for you. You know, they didn't, they didn't show you anything positive here. So, yeah, I feel like you, um, you're going to tell them to heal. You're going to look at them like they're a mess. They may get very emotional when you tell them all of this. But I feel like just around the corner, and you can feel it too coming, you've got a new soulmate connection coming that is going to be like your best friend and your lover, okay? Ooh, collective. All right, so let's crack open your um, fortune cookie. All right, what do we got? You will soon be the center of attention. Yes, you will. I feel like um, you felt invisible for a long time in this connection. All of a sudden, this masculine from your past is going to show up and try to make things right. And all of a sudden, this new person's going to show up and want something new with you. So, yeah, you are going to be the center of attention. All right? Um Yes, that's exactly what's happening. All of a sudden, it's almost like you're a magnet and all of and these people are just coming right at you. <laughs> They're coming right for you, collective. But it's true, you know. Um, but this is a closing of a cycle. Spirit needs you to have some questions answered. They want you to see your justice. When this person from your past shows up to talk to you, that is you seeing your justice. And, um, and you're... Uh, I feel like you're also getting this new love coming in. So you're about to be blessed in love as well. And abundance. Okay? And success. With the Empress and the Minor Arcana. So get ready for the good stuff collective. You're about to be the center of attention. The center.